What's up, everybody? Well, it's Friday, which means we're talking college football. That's Texas Longhorn football. And at 2.30 Saturday, we got the Texas Tech Red Raiders rolling into Austin. So, um, and this is, you know, it, it's a rivalry game. It really is. Um, not so much for us as it is for Tech. Tech, Tech, they hate us a whole lot. Sometimes we forget that they're in our conference. But, hey, that's no disrespect to this team this year. Um, they've been struggling a lot. They really have. The, the, the Raiders have. Um, but they always have the potential to put a lot of points on the board. They seem to do that against us a lot. Um, you know, I, I've always said to some of my Tech friends, it's like, uh, you know, Tech comes in looking like the team is going to win, and then at the end they find a way to lose it against Texas. So it's almost been a triangle this last year, you know. Uh, we beat Tech, Tech beat A&M, A&M beat us. Um, I hope we switch that up where we beat Tech and A&M. Uh, Aggies, I got something for y'all uh, whenever the, that week comes. But... This week, you know, we got to stop Graham Harrell. If we let him and Crabtree hook up too many times, uh, you know, the, the problem with Texas, you know, especially the last two games, you know, we've let teams jump on us for three quarters, and then the fourth quarter coming back, and that's great. You know, it's a fun, you know, exciting game. But we can't keep doing this. We've got to get on them in the first quarter and, and have the game won by the first quarter. Because um, you get in a dogfight with them, it's going to be tough to beat these guys. Uh, Tech has a great – I mean, defensively, no, they're not that good. They really aren't. Um, so we should we should have a big game on, on offense. Jamal Charles should be able to run up and down the field, and I'm looking for Colt to have a big game. Speaking of Colt McCoy, um, once again, talking to some Longhorn fans who, uh, you know, one in particular, you know who you are, um, of this upcoming game. When I'm watching the Texas Longhorns, I, I'm looking for a W. I'm looking for the entire team to do well. If at some point uh, they make quarterback change or position change and we win the game, I'm going to be happy. Now, unlike you, you are going to sit here and gloat probably about, you know, if, if Colt does what does ter- does bad and we lose this game, you're going to gloat and be happy about it, which is kind of sad, really, that you would want, just so you're, for your, the sake of your personal argument, to have a team lose so that you can say it's your right. Me personally, I don't care if I'm right or wrong on stuff. I want my team to win. So, uh, and you know what? I, I've read some stuff. About, if y'all go on ESPN.com, they got a thing about Colt McCoy, about how he reacted after the Oklahoma uh, loss in the locker room, how he gave a pretty impassioned speech to the team, had read a few verses from the Bible, and just said, had tears in his eyes, just saying, guys, we got to get this together. And so far, they've responded. So, uh, you know what? That just makes me want to support him even more. You know, that's the kind of guy I want to understand. That's the guy I want leading my team. So, not because he's a white guy, because I think he's the best leader we've got right now. So, uh, hook them horns, Texas fight, and let's whip Tech, all right? Because uh, they got some loudmouth fans over there. Not saying they're bad fans, they're in passion, but uh, a little crazy, too. So, uh, hook them horns, Texas fight, and uh, let's beat Tech.